Literally hundreds of Austin drivers cited for breaking the law in school zones. A KXAN Austin News investigation revealed plenty of people are ignoring the new rule against cell phones in those safety zones, even now that the rule is almost nine months old. KXAN's Jared Wise joins us live from downtown Austin with those results. Jared. Hi there, Leslie. 49 in just 30 minutes. Now that's the number of drivers we caught using a cell phone in this school zone. Now that's over one every minute and not one ticket. One after another, drivers talking on their cell phones. But this isn't Mopac, I-35, or your typical roadway. It's an active school zone for Austin High School. Here at Campbell Road and 5th Street in downtown Austin, just east of Mopac, drivers continue along with their conversations, oblivious to the sign right in front of them. I didn't notice it. I don't think other people will either. No, I didn't. Where's the sign? I didn't see it. In one morning, 49 drivers caught on tape using a cell phone in a 30-minute span. We go back in the afternoon, 36 drivers. At another location on South Congress where Fulmore Middle School sits along the street, we caught just five drivers that morning and 12 in the afternoon. So how big is this problem? If I wrote 25 tickets, I would say probably a good anywhere between five to 10 of those are gonna involve a cell phone usage of some type. We tagged along with Officer Michael Monroe at this school zone off Anderson Road to find out. Within a few minutes, he catches a driver on a cell phone. Call municipal court and they'll give you an accurate figure, okay? The fine can run as high as $200, but the alternative could be a lot worse. Someone could be distracted and see it and won't realize the kid is running in front of the car and might hit the kid. And when you have children involved, sometimes you don't get a second chance. The number of drivers we caught using a cell phone in a school zone may seem high. But officers are taking steps in making sure that school zone safety is a top priority. Since September, officers have cited 703 people for driving while using a cell phone. Now you can compare that to 25 texting while driving citations APD has handed out citywide since the implementation of the law in January. Well, the Texas Department of Transportation and Department of Public Safety tells us that like one in four accidents in Texas involves somebody either texting or talking on the telephone. It's a major distraction. Texas Senator Jeff Wentworth wrote a bill last session that would have banned drivers from using a wireless communication device on any road at any time, but it didn't pass. But I am personally dodging drivers on a, on a regular basis who are on their, te on their telephone. He did vote for this current law, and next legislative session he may bring up another issue. Probably the generic, more comprehensive approach is going to be driver distraction. Now back here at 5th and Campbell, of the 703 tickets issued citywide, not one of those was issued in this location. Officers are not as strict here because foot traffic from Austin High School is not the same as it used to be. Now because of that, this school zone is currently under evaluation. And as you can see, stoplights are going up, and when they're operating, that will take the place of the school zone. Now for more information on this story and to read the law and more on distracted drivers, we have extended coverage on our website. That's kxan.com. Reporting live downtown, Jared Wise, KXN, Austin News.